That, I guarantee, will last you a lifetime. <laughs> Hello, Vincent. Oh, hello, Mr. Upton. Back again. Great, sir. Come on in and sign the book, then. There we are. Thanks. What's that? Half a crown to you, Mr. Upton. <laughs> oh, I'm all right for razor blades, thanks. Oh? Oh, I'm growing a moustache. Everybody's got one these days. Oh. Oh, pretty. You could have had these for two, Bob. Now, then, let me see. Second year, you'll be on the wards. Stethoscope? Oh, don't bother. I've already got one. Present from my father. Oh, I see. These proud farmers are killing the market. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what, though. How about a white coat? 30, Bob, or I can let you have two for three quid. No, thanks. Could I have the key to my locker? Now, just a minute. Now, here is something you've really got to have, a blue book. You want to learn that lot up before the introductory course to Mara. Everything you need to know about examining patients, five bob. No, thanks. I got one at the end of last term from Peter, two bob. Ruddy black marker, Tyrion, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. How about a locker key? Right, locker key. Now, you know, that's ten bob deposit. Is it? Oh, yeah. Here, yeah, while I think about it, how about a new car battery? I haven't got a car. You haven't? Oh, you need a car, Mr. Upton. Here, yeah, listen, this mate of mine got a Mini. Good as new, MOT tested, engine sweet as a nut, and I'll just get you to keep your locker. Pardon? Uh, hello, Professor Lofter, sir. What can I do for you, sir? Has your friend got those tickets for me, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah I've got the tickets. Yeah, here we are, sir. There we are. Your tickets and one locker yeah. key. Oh, that's ten bob deposit, you said. <laughs> Mr. Hupton will have his little joke, will he? <laughs> Hello, sir. That's a nasty growth, Hupton. <laughs> yes, sir. Here we are, sir. Free bob a packet. No, thanks. <laughs> It's a long walk to your digs, isn't it, Mr. Upton? Now, if you had a little car... Uh... Spain, then? Hey, that's a very smart senor. Hey, Granada, Granada. Hey, it's nice to see old face, isn't it? Yeah, especially Loftus's first one I saw. Oh, no, it doesn't matter, we don't have them anymore. No more anatomy. Yeah. Um, how do you like mine? You what? My moustache. I've got one too, you know. <laughs> Where? On my face. Somebody's stolen it, Mike. <laughs> hey, you bring any trophies back? In the bag. Ah. What's this? Oh, I thought we could find out how it died. Gassed itself. <laughs> Give it a couple of weeks, it'll be as big as yours. You're boasting again, Upton. Dave, hello. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Is that catching? What? You look awful. It'll grow. I'm watering it. Yeah, well, I should give it some weed killer. <laughs> nice to be back, isn't it? Great. Hello, Alonso. Oh, no, not you too. What? Moustaches. Have we? Oh, yes, so we have. That's very becoming, Mr. Collier. Very debonair, Mr. Stuart Clark. Okay, go. Michael, don't move. What? Oh, still. Shh, shh, shh. Gently does it. <laughs> what are you doing? There's a spider on your upper lip. <laughs> I thought you two had moved out. Yeah, we have, upstairs. A cosy little nest for three. Three? Of course, we'll be happy to use your kitchen and bathroom and chairs. Oh, wait a minute, who's the third? Well, it ain't Hugh Evans. No, because he's away, isn't he? Yes, he's doing midwifery in Portsmouth. <laughs> Hooley's moved in with us. Uh, Daniel Hooley, the fighting leprechaun. That's right. The boxing captain. Right. Aye, aye, he's got his punch ball fixed up then. Oh, God, I'll never get any work done. I don't know. He's a good six seconds walk away. I can do it in four. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, not you as well. Yes, at least the biggest. Anyone say it's not? Anyone? Hey? Right. Well, they have been Watch biggest. it. Come on, get them up. All right, all right. It's the biggest. It's the biggest. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I'd be the only one. Well, it doesn't matter because you're going to have to shave them off, aren't you? Why? Why? Well, they won't let us on the wards like this, you know. Yes, they're going to be very strict this year. We're going to have to shave ours off, aren't we, Dick? Naturally. Mm. Oh, oh, no. God. All right, little fellas, you've got the least work to do, so uh, you can kick us off. <laughs> Six weeks I spent growing this. Good Lord, a whole hair per week. <laughs> he, uh, he, he does know how to shave, does he? Right, now, uh, are we all ready to play one upmanship? Uh, what exotic holiday frolics have we all been up to, eh? Wearing? Eight days on the Costa Brava. Oh. oh. Well, I had a fantastic fortnight in Norway. Oh. oh. Yeah. A month of outward bound and two weeks sailing in Cali. Oh. oh. Yes. A fortnight hitchhiking in North Africa. Very yes. nice. A week collecting Etruscan relics. Oh. Oh. Ten days cruising around the Greek islands. Yay. And a week studying Persian carpet. Yay. In Persia. <laughs> Mike? Six days in Frinton. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a bit of work done. Just <laughs> what? I sure Mr. Stuart Clark wins, as usual, a golden stick of rock for the trendiest travels of the season. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have you finished it there? Yep. Oh, I feel naked. You know, I preferred you with it on. Uh, no, no, you look much prettier without them. I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you're laughing at, because you're next. Well, I don't know. It seems a shame you to shave have. it off now. Yes, come on, get them off. No, no all right. right. Hair today and gone tomorrow. Ta da! Oh, I'm going to get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, come on, Mike. It's quite funny, really. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, come on. You don't need any work. Let's go have a drink. No, no, you go. What have you got there? It's a blue book. Well, hey, any pictures? <laughs> <laughs> no, you fool. It's the book they hand out at the hospital. Tells you all you need to know about examining patients. Haven't you got one? I don't want one. Let's have a look. No, you get your own. Oh, come on. Let me see. Give that back. And when taking a case history, first ask the patient's name, age, address and religion. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, no, 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 no. Never touch a patient with cold hands. <laughs> Who wants a patient with cold hands? Come on, I want to have read that by oh, tomorrow. Oh, shut up. Hey, you're a patient. Oh. Right. Now, a good way to warm the hands before commencing an examination is to rub them briskly together. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, now, Peter, what's the matter with you? Um, gout. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Upshot. We will have to operate immediately. Not, not, not without an anaesthetic. No, certainly not, Mr. Upshot. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. We don't have to mug up on that stuff. Let's go and have a drink. Oh, all right. I suppose I can look at it first thing tomorrow morning. Bully for you, cocky drawers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Mike? Gout. Come here, Upshot. After this coffee, I think we'll all have got it. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Well, your moustache, you shaved it off, remember? <laughs> My little blue book, it's gone. Oh. I haven't even had a chance to look at it. One of you's nicked it, haven't you? Don't know what you're talking about. My blue book, we're supposed to know it for this morning. Are we? Yeah, he's right, you know, you should have read it. Oh, well, perhaps there's still time to have a quick look at it. Well, you can't, because I haven't got it. Mike, do you think I could have a quick squint at that blue book of yours? Oh, I see. You want it now. You all want it now when I haven't got it. Well, you can't have it. Because he hasn't got it. <laughs> well, come on, I don't mind about the moustache, but I want the book back. Ah, moustaches we got, but no blue book. <laughs> uh, don't look at me. Why not? Because you'll make me blush. <laughs> What have you got to blush about? 
I'm shy. <laughs> well, I wish you'd find your blue book, because I'd like to have a look at it. Now, look, it makes no difference how much swatting you do. When you're faced with a real patient, you'll be scared out of your knickers. <laughs> sure to God, you're as jumpy as a bunch of virgin grasshoppers. <laughs> Come along, Hooley, we'll be late. Now, yeah, don't worry, little ones. Soon you'll be mature third-year experts like us, with hands of gold. Look at that. Steady as a rock. <laughs> well, good luck, chaps. We'll be thinking of you. I <laughs> oh, sure to God. It's a pity you lost that little blue book. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got much time either. Have you two got your stethoscopes? You do know what a stethoscope is, I suppose. What the hell is that? It's a stethoscope. My dad bought it for me specially. It doesn't look like a stethoscope. Yes, it does. But not like mine, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it second hand from Vincent the Porter. And the white coat, look. <laughs> Fabulous. It's only ten, Bob. Oh, really? oh no! <laughs> I do wish my mother would control herself with a starch. Will you give us a hand? Mm. <laughs> my God, this is the first case I've had of a coat with rigor mortis. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. Oh, great. What am I going to do now? Oh, what am I going to do now? I can't go in without a white coat. Well, neither can I. Or at least there'd be two of us, Mike. No, they won't let you in. Hey, Dave, that's a quick lecture. Butcher Harris cancelled. We've got the morning off. Great. Can I borrow your white coat? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Um, I think we'll... Come on, Duncan. It's nearly nine. We'll be late. <laughs> Hurry up, Duncan. <laughs> oh, clever, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, who have we got for this lecture? Professor of Surgery. What, old McGregor? No, he's chucked it in, poor old soul. His hand was shaking so much, his operations were like a knife-throwing act. Oh. Is he retired? No, he's joined the circus. <laughs> hey, I wonder what the new bloke's like. Well, we shall soon find out. Waiter. <laughs> <laughs> two, uh, two barrels of soup over here, waiter. You're improperly dressed. Find your little blue book, Mike. No. Oh. Well, this is where the real interesting stuff starts. No more of that tedious old physiology and anatomy. Yeah, no more Loftus. Oh, thank God. Yes, I think we can safely say that we've finally escaped from the club. Oh, my God, it's Loftus. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Good morning, 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 sir. sir. What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> I should perhaps explain to those of you who thought you'd finally escaped from my clutches that having served my time in the field of experimental anatomy, I have been allowed by the hospital board to resume my work in clinical surgery, which means that for the rest of your time here, I shall be responsible for drilling the principles of surgery into your miserable skulls. <laughs> before taking the terrible responsibility of setting you loose on an unsuspecting public as qualified practitioners. Wearing, where's your white coat? Uh, I haven't got one, sir. Well, get one. You can probably buy one cheap from Vincent the Porter. I know, sir. Right. <laughs> Let's get down to business. This list is designed to help you with the clerking and examination of patients. You begin by asking the patient's name, age, address, occupation, and religion and find out what they're complaining of. And don't ask them, what's wrong with you? They only say, you're the doctor, you're supposed to find out. Ask them why they went to their own doctor or what they're complaining of. Then take a detailed history of the present illness. So all that remains are the special investigations, x-rays, blood tests and so on, to confirm the diagnosis. Well, now you all know how to make a diagnosis. Let's put that knowledge into practice. Come in, please. Ooh. Lie down on the couch, will you? This patient has kindly consented to assist us this morning. All right? Yes, thanks. Good. 
Right. Now, one of you will come out and demonstrate what you have just learned to the rest of the class. Aided by the knowledge you have already gleaned from the little blue book, none of you will have bothered to get. Did anyone bother to get it up? <laughs> well, well, well. Come along, then. You, sir, come on. We are over here, Upton. <laughs> Fell off in the night, did it, Upton? <laughs> right, stand over there. Right. Now, Upton, this young lady has a little lump in the left breast. It's nothing serious, but she was quite right to see her doctor about it. And I want you to tell me what it is. I don't know, sir. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> of course you don't know. Find out. Yes, sir. Stop. <laughs> Upton, am I right in thinking this is the first time you've met this young lady? Yes, sir. So you do not march up to her, make her grab at her bosom. <laughs> No, sir. Remember your manners, boy. Now shake her by the hand and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Michael. Oh, but God! <laughs> Miss Walker, this is Dr. Upton, who wishes to examine you if you've no objections. No. Carry on. Thank you. There are Upton. Get on with it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Control yourself, Upton. I've spent the last hour teaching you how to examine a patient. It obviously hasn't percolated through to that atrophied conglomerate of malformed neurons you use for a brain that you ask questions first. Sorry, sir. Well, get on. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, Upton. You should have learned all the proper questions you asked from your blue book, which you obviously haven't bothered to read. Which is why I have taken the trouble to write them all down on the board. Now, see if you can at least manage to find out the patient's name. Yes, sir. <coughs> what is your name? Marlene Walker. She's Marlene Walker, sir. <laughs> uh, and address? 13 Norris Road. 13 Norris Road, sir. Well, don't tell me. Write it down. Yes, sir. Uh, and how old are you? Twenty-two. <laughs> and uh, what's wrong with you? I, I thought you were supposed to tell me. Ask Miss Walker why she went to the doctor. Oh, about the lump. And uh, where exactly is the uh, lump? In the breast. Lump in the uh, chest. Breath. <laughs> Lump in the. Uh, br br <laughs> Shall I examine her now, sir? My God, Upton, you're a fast worker. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask her anything else? Anything else? Any questions you might have forgotten? No, sir. Oh, yes. What is your religion? <laughs> no! No! Do you want me to ask all those questions, sir? No, Upton, no. Don't bother. A brilliant diagnostician like yourself obviously doesn't need to. But we can discuss that later. You'd better just examine the patient. Yes, sir. Very impressive, Upton. Can you get BBC Two on that thing? One of these days, Upton, you'll find that expensive instrument very useful in about 20 years' time when you've learned how to use it properly. In the meantime, remember, the most important part of the stethoscope is the part between the ears. Yes, sir. Now put it away and begin your examination properly. Yes, sir. Stop! <laughs> I think Miss Walker could manage that on her own. Would you mind, please? <coughs> now, Doctor, examine the breast. 
Frighten the patient to death. You look like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm warming my hands, sir. I've read about it. Get on with it. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop. <laughs> Keep your grubby little paws to yourself, man. Look first. Look. <laughs> what to see? Well, uh, 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 uh... Anything unusual? Yes. No. Uh, no, I mean, no. Neither do I. Now palpate. What's that? Feel, Upton. Feel. <laughs> what, do you... <laughs> it's like what? what do you feel? Oh. Well, she, she's got a sort of, um, lump. <laughs> Sorry. What sort of lump? <laughs> well, a sort of, um, lump, really. Where? On the end of her nose? No, sir. Well, where? No. <laughs> In her, um, chair, um... Uh... Tell me about it. <laughs> um, oh, God. Please. Well, it's, it's, it's sort of, um... <laughs> Lumpy. I have spent all day telling you how to describe lumps. Position, shape, size, surface, remember? How big is the lump? Um, sort of normal size, sir. It can't be normal or she wouldn't be worried about it. Take your hand away! Now, is it the size of a football or a pea? It's about, um, uh, uh, so big. About the size of a plover's egg, would you say? A plover's egg, yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Miss Walker. I apologise for my colleague. You don't half put them through it, poor things. I hope it didn't upset you. Oh, no. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so did I. Thank you. Well, now, Upton has made every mistake known to medical science. He wouldn't have made such a fool of himself. It made an effort to read his blue book. You've all read it, haven't you? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Good. Right, Upton, strip off. What, sir? You'll obviously make a better patient than the doctor, stripped to the waist. <laughs> and I want the rest of you to examine Upton's cardiovascular oh, system. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> and don't bother to warm your stethoscopes. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, name, age, address and religion, Mr Upshot, please. Hey, that's my little blue book! <laughs> Excuse me. Breathe into you. And you're time, sir.